everybody and welcome back to my channel this is Dima Tutorials. Dima Tutorials as you already know is here to help students preparing for the exams on use of English and on literature. Now I have teachers of other subjects in case you want to join our online classes. Our online classes are on telegram please send your whatsapp messages in the number that is on the screen. The fee is 1000 per subject. Now let's look at some questions that are picked from the past questions jam you say we change 25 past questions okay now and uh, we have three questions on the vowel sounds in 2025. We have three questions on the consonant sounds in 2025. So those are the questions I want us to consider in this video. Now, uh, if you have already purchased a copy of Oral English Guide, asking these questions won't be a problem to you, okay? Because in Oral English Guide, I gave you guys the strategies that will help in answering questions on oral english and these ones are not exempted okay so let's look at these questions we have the first one we have luck luck okay now how do you pronounce this u in luck we have to choose the option that has the same vowel sound as the one that is underlined okay so we have luck here and luck here has the r sound okay it has the R sound. Now, how do you identify the R sound? In our English guide, I discussed it extensively. You just have to get a copy of it and learn everything that you need to learn on our English and everything that will help you as our English exams, okay? Now, we have luck, and the U in luck is pronounced R. Uh, uh, okay, now, one of the places where we find the R sound is in U between two consonants that Nigerians typically pronounce as O. No, you have where you have you between two consonants that Nigerians typically pronounce as O. Oh. You know, Nigerians will say this is luck, but that's not the right pronunciation. The right pronunciation is luck, okay? And it's not luck, it's not luck, okay? In case you're a Ghanaian watching this video, okay, it's not luck. And it's not luck, it's luck, luck, okay? Now the U in luck is pronounced A, uh, okay? The sound that looks like an inverted B, so it's luck. Now let's look at the options. You have option A. Lack, okay, lack. This sound, the sound you have here is ah, okay, ah, which is incorrect, okay, which is incorrect. We have turn, turn. When you have you are uh, between two consonants, you should just purchase a copy of our English guide. When you have you are uh, between two consonants, um, you pronounce the you are as uh, okay. So the you are here is uh, this is turn. So the same the same sound you have in learn, the same sound you have in church, etc. Okay. Now this is lock. All you have here is short or sound, okay? Which is incorrect. So what we are looking for is a sound. Now what we have here is brother. Brother. Okay, I mentioned it in our English guide that the O in brother is pronounced uh. uh so this is the correct answer. Brother, brother, not brother brother okay so option d is the correct answer okay now we have the next one the next one we have god the u a l in god is pronounced ah ah long ah okay now let's look at the options we have guide now the u i in guide is pronounced i i the diphthong i okay i the diphthong i option b we have argue argue the a r in argue is pronounced ah Ah, I mentioned this in our English guide. When you have a r pronounced, when you have a r together in a word, is the long r sound. Okay, so we have a ah, long r. Ah, okay, long r ah, r. Ah. Now option C we have chat. Chat. So you have a between two consonants. Okay, in a monosyllable words, you have the short r sound. Okay, so this is. Chat. So the correct answer, I believe you noticed, is option B because we have a uh, here, the long R sound here, and we have the long R sound there. So option B is the correct answer. Okay. Now this option D is pronounced God, God, long R sound. So it's not correct. This is long R sound. It's not correct. Okay. Now let's look at this third one, which is very tricky very tricky for most people you just need to get a copy of our english guide and if you've not joined our classes make sure you join us just make sure you join our classes i'm tired of talking about it just make sure you join us if you want to hgmb team this year we just complete the lessons on stress parts and today tomorrow we're going to be revising completion of sentences we're going to be looking at a lot of topics on completion of sentences okay and we're going to be answering random questions 
on completion of sentences, especially those ones that are examiner's favorites. Make sure you let this opportunity to boost your aggregate score with use of English. And like I said, we have um, other classes, physics, chemistry, mathematics. We have teachers of the other subjects. Each class costs 1,000 naira. Okay, so make sure you join our classes if you can and are serious about really doing well this year. Okay, now let's look at this. Um, beer. Beer, okay. Now we've already discussed in the class and it's also in our English guidance. We have EER. EER. Um, we have most level words um, that contain EER, EAR, IER that they typically have this sound. Yeah, okay. They typically have the ear sound. But there are exceptions, okay. There are exceptions to these, and, and we've already discussed the exceptions, and the exceptions are also in our English guide. So we have beer here. Beer is pronounced beer, it has a sound beer, okay. Now, when you have um, a i r a e r at the end of a word, um, a most level word is pronounced a, eh. okay. It has a sound a, eh. a, eh. a, eh. okay. So Fair. This is B. This is fair. So it's incorrect. Action B. We have B. Okay. Now B is one of the exceptions. You should just read the book. B is one of the exceptions. Okay. We have P is one of the exceptions too. Words that contain E A R and uh, words that contain E A R that are not pronounced um E yeah, B. Eh. This is pronounced B. This is fair. This is B. This is P. Okay. Now the correct answer is pear. Okay, see this one is pronounced P E A R is pronounced pear. P I E R is pronounced pear. So, did you notice the difference? Okay, so this one is pronounced pear. It has the same sound as this one. So option C is the correct answer. Okay. Now let's move on. Now we have the next one. This this side is for consonant sounds. Now let's look at the consonant sounds. We have can you pronounce this word? Can you pronounce it? How say says how say is not healthy, is not healthy, is healthy, healthy. Okay, th in healthy is pronounced, it's pronounced this. Now it's a voiceless consonant sound. Okay, now, you know, there are two ways of pronouncing th letters, you cannot pronounce th letters as. Or there are still some th letters that are pronounced, okay, like time, summer. There's some some of them that terms. There's some of them that are pronounced th letters that are pronounced. So you will discover all of these things in oral English, guys. Please just make sure you get it if you are preparing to sit any oral English exam, okay? Now, um, have healthy, healthy. Now, option, um, option A, we have that. That now that is pronounced v, 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 v. okay. This one is pronounced voiceless. Now the most common way to um differentiate the th that are pronounced and the ones that are pronounced v is by using the way we pronounce them in Africa, especially Nigeria. Okay. Now that I said is the most common way. It doesn't mean that is hundred percent. Correct and doesn't mean that is the only way. Okay, now the most common way is to to check the way we typically pronounce it in this country. You know that um is it how we pronounce th as t or as d in Nigeria? Okay, now ordinarily we'll say um that right. So we'll say that. So most of the words that most of the th letters that we pronounce as d, the right sound is usually v. The voiced ones. This one is voiced. The voiced one. This one is voiced. This one is voiceless. Okay. This one is voiceless. So the ones, the th letters that we typically pronounce as the, the right pronunciation is usually the voiced one. Okay. We typically pronounce that as that. So it should tell you that the right sound is the sound that you find here is this one and not this one that is found there. So this is. Incorrect. We typically pronounce they as they, right? They are good. So this should tell you that this sound, the sound you find here is this one. So it's incorrect. It's incorrect. We're looking for the one that has this voiceless sound. Okay. Now we have father. 
father we typically pronounce father as father right father as father so it's not correct so the sound we have here is this one not this one all right let's see path how do you pronounce this we say don't follow that path right don't follow that path don't follow that path that's how we speak in nigeria but that's not the right pronunciation the th is part the th is is path not path 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 so this is the correct answer this is the one that has um this sound voiceless sound and this one just like this one has this sound so now let's see the next one next one we have film film and we have to identify the option that has o sound o identify the option that has o now let's see walk has no o sound in it it's walk it's not walk it's walk okay chalk it's not chalk it's chalk so it doesn't have this out in them are silent now we have salt salt this is not salt it's salt salt so the l in it is pronounced so this is the correct answer some it's not some it's some so this is wrong now um let's look at the next one we have english english okay now we have english the good sound is what we are supposed to look for the good sound is what we are supposed to find in the options now we have we have orange orange the g in orange is pronounced g not g g not g so it's incorrect okay here we have ink ink you don't have the g sound so incorrect we have impune impune okay the g sound here the g letter here is silent so it's incorrect we have single single so this is the correct answer it has a girl sound it's very easy you know all english is very simple but if you are finding all english difficult my advice to you is to get a copy of our english guide that's what will really help you it will help you in understanding consonant sounds understanding vowel sounds stress pattern emphatic stress rhymes everything you need to help you do well in any oral english exam okay whether you are sitting for words jam or you're in the high institution any exams at all or any oral english exams at all that you are sitting for oral english guide is what you need so just get a copy of it and ace your exam okay so that will be all for today thank you thank you very much for learning with me and if you're still for jamie team if they say you still have the opportunity of joining our marathon revision classes use the number that is on the screen to send me a whatsapp message to join us you can register for as many subjects as you can afford each subject is 1000 just make sure you join us okay and it's your jam with me for good that'll be all for today thank you very much for learning with me i will see you guys again very soon in another video and i will see those of you who want to take the bull by the horn in our online class thank you very much i'll see you again next time Goodbye.